Right, we're gonna talk strokes gained again today with Dan out here at Torquay. And let's show you what you can get, just some basic ideas, and I can do a lot of videos on this, from strokes gained as an amateur. Because lots of people see it on the PJ Tour, but what does it mean for you as an amateur? Right, Dan, the game is we are amateurs, so we are only allowed to hit it 200 yards max. So I'm using my rinky dinks. I've got my four iron. So think of these as our drivers, everybody. Yeah. So these are our drivers, and they go about 200 yards for us. Not saying all amateurs hit it 200 yards, but if you're an amateur hitting it around 200 yards off the tee, this is how you could win on strokes gained or not. Um, so it's obviously second shots, we can't go and use these again, because in effect these are our drivers. We'd have to add more loft. Okay? Yeah. Um, I'll go first. Okay. Oh! What? What's that? You just pulled out. That ain't gonna apply now, is it? Hashtag 262.5 DS3. DS3. <laughs> the yellow one, Matt! The yellow Pro V. That's nice. Matt's over there, look, I'll just tell him. Oh look, there he is, look. You can show Hi, him on the camera. I can see him on oh, here. You can see him on here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna go rinky dinks, 23 degrees. 200 yards. This hole is like over 400 yards, isn't it? Yeah. So this I can't is, reach. Uh, this is a, mm, yeah. Not if this is your longest club, you know. So not how reaching. do I stroke this game if I can't reach? When we get closer, I reckon. Get it in the trees up the left. That's that yellow ball. Oh. Right, Dan, you'll go with your forearm, but there's an added rule. So you're not allowed to have the same smash factor as me, so you've got to have more deflection. And still so what, hit it 200 yards? No, you've got a club that you think goes 200 yards. Yeah. But I want you to hit Okay. a 10 yard cut with everything. 10 yard cut? Yes. I can do that. So not now hitting it as you normally would, you are having deflection. You are cutting across this ball by six or seven degrees. Yeah. yeah, not bad. I'd say, what's that, six yard cut? Let's have a little bit more cut, but a pretty good shot. Just okay. kicking off into the seven. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. Dan, we're going to see Dan's is over here. I'm just up the left here. So hit mine pretty good, but a little left. But I'm a good 20, 30 yards past him but I'm in the rough. Dan just kicked off into the rough as well, but a decent shot. So obviously you can't now hit your five iron because that's your, or whatever club that yep. was, your driver. What club you got now? So now I've got a six iron. So this is a free wood, but you've still got to hit your 10 yard cut. Yeah. Because you are Jim, who hits a 10 yard cut, and yeah. I'm Bob, who hits it straighter than you, but we think we hit it the same distance. I'm going to hit six because people are going to ask, well, why is he not hitting five? Yeah. Because it's just a club down, but realistically, when I see dri people hitting driver and then three with, there's probably about a 20-yard gap. Totally. When they get up to that sort of Absolutely level. Absolutely agree. And so, also, as well, if you're hitting a driver 200 yards, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how many amateurs can hit a free wood off the deck if they've only got the speed yeah. at 200 yards. See, because the loft is not enough for yeah, them yeah, to launch. Yeah, they're better off hitting five woods. And yeah. Go on. Right, okay, so this is a tougher shot because of the, the tree is on the left now for my slice. Yeah, but you have got room on the right. Lots of room. I pulled that. Yeah. Fine. Up there and straight. A good safe shot, Bob. Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Where is the flag? Oh. Is like over this bush. You've got an interesting little angle there, haven't you? So I've got six iron as well, same yeah. idea. Slightly false if you think this through as well. I probably should hit seven from this lie. Because this is, well I'm saying that, if this is my five wood. Hmm. But I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I would see, I see, also see a lot of amateur golfers just dragging out the longest club they can get. Yeah, which is kind of what I've done though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's a good shot. Yeah, I hit that pretty good. I would say that's a good position to put it for this hole, that's pitching up the green. So I've gained on the first. What am I gaining yeah. on the next? Even though we both swing very much the same speed, launch monitor wise, we're going to think we hit it a similar distance. Yeah. So Dan's middle of the fairway. Bob, sorry. Bob. Bob. How right. far are you, Bob? Uh, so I've got 115 now. Okay, so I'm up near the green. Oh, you've got it up that far. Good. So I am hitting a pitch on. Yeah. 
you're hitting a slicing nine i've got a slicing nine let's see it so on those two shots us with the same club head speed yeah the deflections Game. that you're creating yeah. by hitting the cut to me hitting straight to a little draw yeah. not that a draw goes further but by having the higher smash factor you're obviously i could i time. could lose you could hit this stiff and i could yeah not, not so that, that's yeah. where people then get a little loss so yeah. obviously because where i gain i could lose yeah but if you would choose of the two balls every time you play this hole all day get out of there yeah okay slicing nine and 115. Like that. Yeah, with a yeah. nine, it is. I know it's a pretty good shot there. If that's up, I reckon yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's, that's a very good shot. Divot. I know. <laughs> right, so how far have you now got in here? No, I'm not even measuring. Okay, so it's what, probably 40. 45 yards. So even though you've hit a good shot, which has come up a bit short, yeah, I still feel I've got the advantage. I think the thing where people get lost is obviously I could dunch this because I can dunch a pitch but I still want to take this advantage but let's pretend I'm like Rory and I fin bullets here so I would lay back to about 100 yards where you were yeah that's cool and that is playing to your strengths and knowing your game more which is some of the points you've made in the past yeah but you're not going to be as strong as someone who does hit it here who is half decent from this distance so yes you'll get the most out of what you've got in that situation so this is occasion where then you should be working on less deflection so less cuts yeah better strikes yeah better shots your swing and then some time here too every stroke counts that's what the book is called that this is based on every yeah. it's all interlinked so what you're saying then is even though i may in one situation might just get up and down and you may not from here yeah if you put us down there in five five balls each well, let's think about how long, many times you're going to play this hole as a member in a year. A hundred? Yeah. I mean, a hundred goes each from those distances. I mean, if I hit this one. It's a rubbish pitch. And I've gained. I mean, I will go and show you that. But I'm gaining. Yeah. I'm going to hit two more and then we'll go back and you can hit two more. I haven't hit the fairway yet. I've landed them in the exact same spot. Possibly hit it a bit harder is the answer. There we go. Yeah, that's a better one. Yeah. So that's basically pick up, isn't it? Close, isn't it? It's close, yeah. So let's have two more from you. So that's yeah. three times. That's a month's worth of playing this hole for some people. Two months. Where are they? And I'm not a great pitcher. So walking up on the green. Here are the three shots. So this is Danny, a good one these are my two very average ones so this one being my gaming one in the original situation bear in mind i have not been on the fairway on this hole he was just off and then on and there's my third one which i can't see him getting inside of that very easily from his distance here he goes so dan's gonna hit in he's gonna do two more shots from the 115 yardage That's a good one coming up the left here. It's a very good shot. And there's another good shot. So I reckon Dan, well, we'll look at, let's get Dan here and assess. Pretty good shots, Dan. Felt like you hit them well? Yeah, I pulled this one. Yeah. And then I got that one to cut back. Yeah. Quite a bit. So, Good for distance. Uh, better for distance, isn't it? So if you look, you could look at this in many different ways. So my closest one, I, I, I just don't see you getting inside that very easily from that distance. You'd have to no. hit quite a lot of shots. Yeah, I would, yeah. And my feeling of my closest one, if I was playing in a tournament, proper golf, and I hit that pitch, I would be happy, but I wouldn't be, like, ecstatic. No. So no, you if I was to hit your nine iron to there, I'd be very happy. Yes, you'd be happy with that from 115 yards. But from where I shot. was, I would be looking to get it there and closer. If I, and I'm within, pretty average. Within 
for me looking at that pitch shot there i would want to be that would be my not my maybe my worst medium, but medium like, yeah. ball i would agree yeah so you could look at it in many ways here three shots each i've got two inside of your three if you think about it yeah. so that one's inside of your closest yeah. and one of those is inside your longest yeah. but then vice versa you could argue you've got two inside of my three as well couldn't you yeah because you've got two got here two inside your other two there yeah so then what happens is it now flips to the putting so yes i've gained off the tee yeah yes i've gained with the second yes yeah. i've gained with the third on some instances then lost and then i will gain with putts but i will equally lose every stroke counts yeah you've got to practice them all but i'm gonna bet on jim and not bob because i think that pitching game is going to beat that nine iron game more often than it's going to lose yeah it could be flipped with putting because as, as again it's only a small game but it is a game but here's the but go on there are some people that 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 um that would say that they're pitching that their games from like rory yeah we just said that didn't we earlier but, but rory he's probably going to be better off being 115 yards away than he is from 45 yards because he's got no he hasn't got the he has got the skill but he hasn't got the um confidence at the moment within his game to be, be standing over that shot and think he's going to get it inside his totally agree Does, so what you're what saying I mean? then then if he is gaining off the tee and off yeah. the second shots yeah and then losing on the pitching he should be gaining he should be practicing his pitching correct more, he should be going for back. a lesson on that area of his game to get that right because statistically if he gets that right he's going to be better off long term 100 percent agree so he should be practicing his pitching yeah he should be practicing and getting that get that to not make the losses it's making think about rory mcelroy he probably isn't if he's gaining so much in his driver yeah he's probably um spending enough time on that but he's going to be concentrating on his putting enough to make sure that gets to where he wants it to go yeah but that, that he's already making the gains like most i would argue most amateurs are not making the gains most amateurs would be you off the tee not me yeah in those instances yeah and then also with rory it'd be an interesting study he is rubbish from the 40 yards but he isn't great from the 100 either he can fat and thin and pull them mm. i reckon if you actually did a study on rory the emotional outburst from 40 yards is worse because it's hilarious it goes a 30 fins over the back yeah but he equally pitches some on yeah, and yeah, then he yeah. starts it in his running shot he finds a way yeah he gets... i still would want rory to get closer even though when we play he sits back and i get why he does it because the camera's on right let's flip this now so you are now allowed to hit your normal swing with that lofted club i've okay. got to hit the 10 15 20 yard cut yeah par five 500 yards let's see if there's any advantage bear in mind you're the better pitcher out of the two of us as well yeah okay. i would always also say that on the last hole if you're going to pitch it better than me when you are like if we're, that was the last hole when you were that close i was at nine i'm instantly thinking got it this within 20 foot because yeah. i know my my make rate from 20 foot might compete with your make rate at 15 or 10. not always but i'm confident enough for my partner to think yeah I've got i could, an edge on I could get some shots back with the putting at holding 20 to dan maybe not holding his 10. very good nice little draw into the middle of the fairway pretty yeah, well we'll struck yep yeah, good shot right so i'm gonna hit the cut yeah so now i'm putting deflection in so for me what this message is about which hopefully we'll explain it more at the end but strokes game for me as a coach just shows how much people need to be having lessons yeah because i could go out here and practice my putting and chipping and pitching all day long and i will compete you know because i could hit my nine iron to your wedge sometimes closer so we'll have games yeah but me putting this deflection in this out to win with added loft which is you know what amateurs are maxing out their smash factors i haven't done many lessons where i think cool that's an efficient yeah. smash so i'm just thinking look at the power leaks in that they're hitting a driver 100 miles an hour so if I hit a driver 100 miles an hour, I'm going to carry it 250. Mm. They're carrying it 210, 220. Like, yeah. 100 miles an hour should deliver X speed. So it's literally get your angles sorted or just work harder. That's the other way of doing it. Isn't it? That's what I did as a kid. 
it's slicing. It's a splaffy cut, but I mean, that's the middle of the fairway if it reaches it. Yeah. Right, it's nearly on the fairway or it is, but I would be happy with direction. Yeah, it was good. Is that all day long? Six iron. Okay. So um, this is like your, this is the equivalent of the three wood, isn't it, again, here yeah, now? Yeah, so I'm going to chop, cut my three wood down there. I reckon you've got about 300 yards down here. <laughs> hit the fairway. You have, yeah. The trouble is, you've hit the fairway, so you've already got the advantage. So I've got, what, 25 yard, 20 yard gain? Well, if we put you in the rough, I would still think you would have the advantage. Yeah, from this far back, yes. I think, yeah. So this is my life growing up. Do you know why I say that? What, what, lagging 20 yards behind everybody? Well, I would, yeah, I would play in club events and I'm, as long as most people, the odd big hitter, but I'm so much straighter, like it's irrelevant. Yeah. Okay? But at a club level, I'm hitting it a good distance. Then you go to county events and I'm now in the middle of the pot for distance, where I was at the top. Yeah. Okay? But I gain on putting. My short game used to be as good as my putting, believe it or not. And I'm dead dart straight. So I'm gaining, even though I'm in the middle of the field, so I can win. You know, I win an amateur championship when I'm whatever age and what have you, and I can play, play catty golf, it's all good. Yeah. But this is the constant situation I face playing in amateur events. I was arrogant enough, arguably still am, to actually relish this. Like, it made me happy. Yeah, you, 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 you wanted the challenge of this. I just thought, you hit it past me, bro. I'm gonna putt yeah. you off the course. I'm not gonna miss a fairway today. Yeah. So you hit it past me. Hit every fairway, well done, well played, you win. But you go and miss four fairways, which I know you will, I'm going to be there. Yeah. So I used to actually quite like it, because I used to think, well, I haven't been given this distance, so but I'm going to get you in other ways. Yeah. Which is where, obviously, people then believe, oh, well, Mark's a good putter, or good, I'm going to be like Mark putting and chipping. But I'm the swan, or the duck. I'm not as pretty as a swan. I am, like, working like crazy underneath. I'm the guy on the practice area constantly i'm the guy on the putting green all the time i'm the guy turning up seven in the morning till seven in the evening hitting balls every second to compete with someone like david al for instance who was in my peer group he used to tell me he didn't practice mm. and i would beat him sometimes but he'd beat me more and he would win the national events because you then take me to the national events oh you've got people hitting it not there they're another 50 on howler was long yeah and all the top guys, Martin Thompson, people like that. At, at, uh, he's Broadstone now, I think. Parkstone. It's Parkstone, sorry. Um, I remember playing. At, I remember playing a county match, for instance, against him. He was hundred past me, so I competed with him. But he won two and one or three and two because just, just unless I'm working crazy underneath. Yeah. So it's kind of work ethic as well, a bit, isn't it? Yeah. I've just, I mean, that's just, I, I am not missing a fairway playing golf like this. <laughs> Plays into your point that you say you've got to know your game, doesn't it? This is the key to it, I think, is, and I don't know my game well enough. Yeah. You know, this is what's highlighting to me is, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I've got an, an idea of what I think, but in reality I've not done enough stats yeah. on You're my own game. Like I, I said it to Matt yesterday, you know, I've, I've said in the past that I feel like I'm a bad putter yeah, or, or an average discussion. putter. Yeah, I know, yeah. But actually if you look back over, over the videos, I might three putt, or even four putt in one situation, but I might three or four putt, but I've held some bombers. Massive putts. You know, for, for in clutch situations as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to, um, so, so looking back over that, I, I realized that actually, if you look at my strokes gain on my putting, I'm probably, my winning. percentages, I'm winning. Yeah. And then you go and be really defensive and you're putting a lot of stress on that putting, which is why you then see it as a whole, because you're not seeing the stress you put on it, you're just feeling the stress it makes you feel. Correct, yeah. Six iron as well? I've got six iron as well, yeah. So I reckon we're gonna be near 80 to 100 yards past me now, because again, it's not only the tee shot you're gaining, it's now gonna be on this shot as well. Yeah. Good shot, might not catch the fairway, but probably will just up the right. Yeah, it's fairway, and it's a good 50. To 60 yeah, past. Now me. seeing that extra bit more again, yeah. aren't we now? Yeah. I mean, if the hole was infinite, so if the hole just went on forever and yeah. there was no green, you would end up. I mean, like, you would lap me in time. You just keep going. You yeah. would lap me. Uh, you'd yeah. come back out the other side of the world and come back round and yeah. you'd be, hello, Mark. Are you <laughs> yeah, still yeah, going? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it. So if you play this hole enough times in a year, your gains would be infinite if yeah. you just played it forever and ever and ever. Yeah. 
six iron again, isn't it? Six iron again, 173 you've got now. And the problem I've got is I know you can reach and I can't. Mm. Yeah, again, you're, this is, you're, this is you... my amateur game all over, so I'm already now thinking I'm gonna have to chip and putt for a half unless, well, I'm thinking I'm gonna chip and putt and hope you hit a bad one. Yeah. Which was, again, that was my amateur golf all day. Like, I'll just keep being there, wait for you to go wrong. Yeah, wait for you to make a mistake. And then you go and meet, you know, you go and meet Rory McIlroy in your international event. Oh, he doesn't go wrong very often. Damn, that don't work anymore. Yeah. Five and four. Oh, come. I, I'm a county player, fringe country player. I'm not a tour player. Burn. That hurt, Danny boy. But think about it. I've got the speed that you've got in this instance to be up with you, but I'm just choosing not to use it. I'm leaking power. Yeah but practicing my putting and chipping. Why not find that power and practice your putting and chipping as Chip well? as well, yeah. But I mean, I am just the most boring, no one would ever watch me play golf. Everyone would go, Jim, don't, Jim's so, he's Jim steady. He's good play. He's steady play, yeah. <coughs> I need. Great work ethic. I reckon I could be Jim, I could be 72. And if I play like this, I reckon I could still play off five or six. I am not going to miss anything hitting it this line. No. I just can't reach the drop. This is, I quite enjoy this. I have a handicap again. I always think of it like tennis as well. I think it really shows it quite well because you'll watch different servers have advantages. Mm. But then yeah. there'll be days where they don't use them because they don't hit enough in. Yeah. And everyone goes, see, it's not all about the big surf. No, it is. Mm. That other guy won't sustain. If that guy just chooses to do it a few better serves, which he will tomorrow. Yeah. And then you see it in rallies as well. Like, you watch classic Federer and Nadal matches. You've got the advantage now. At the moment, you've got me on the back foot. Okay? But there's nothing stopping me now, or you, from the advantage. I pop one back in dump the court up, and yeah. you just go and dump it in the yeah, net. Like yeah, that yeah. still happens, yeah. but I still want to be in this situation all the time. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't ever not play for this situation. I mean, how many players over the years have you seen who have just, um, you know, like Sampras and just like they use their power. They're not using it all the time, yeah. but when it's one, when they want it, yeah. it's there. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. Bang, they, yeah. You know. Sampras is a great example just overpowered the game, yes. changed it, and everyone realised they need to have a serve like Boom Boom, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. So what club have you got from Yad Az? I've got 142 and I'm going to hit a 9-iron now. Yeah. Just a nice smooth 9-iron. And you can see I'm there in free, so I'm sure you're thinking you're going to well, win I'm... this. Little yeah. flip side to this then. Okay. What if my handicap is higher? I'm now very aggressive, aren't I? Because yeah. I'm there in net two. You, yeah. And that's where golf is beautiful, so I haven't got back, the choice yeah. to defend, so I'll have a handicap help me. Yeah. Because I can't hit less club. I'm hitting my max club every time to not go very far. Yeah. But if I've got a shot on you on here, yeah. it's the beauty of golf. That's I, I've actually been very aggressive. I'm well ahead of yeah, you. Yeah, you are. No, you which would change around. it. Yeah. Absolutely. But just think about it. If I had those shots and I chose to maximise my impacts, mm. well, I wouldn't need those shots anymore. I guess some people as well are happy with the handicap they're at. That's another reason why the strokes gained conversation falls down because they're thinking, uh, you know, I'm doing all right, thanks. Yeah. I'll play off. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. And I'm of, 75. And yeah, there's a lot of people that actually protect it. Protect the handicaps. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is actually a good point, is it? Because like here now, if you think about it, with shots involved, you're now look at the advantage that you got. This is this is then this is then me playing against tiger tiger because he's gained 50 yards on me on the tee yeah and then he's going in with now i'm chipping to your nine iron. correct but i'm not going to have a shot on every hole so where you lose on this one yeah the next par four up there where i don't get a shot it's and i can't it reach it you can so yeah. that's again why golf is such a great game yeah. with shots so again if you isolate it it gets confused you've got to look at the whole picture yeah you want to be getting the gains at every level yeah little skinny you've not taken your advantage so you've handed it back to me but you are closer pin high um just off the left off the right edge isn't so it? strokes gain now from those two positions equal chipper it's like maybe 0 0.01 yeah where you were at this stage 0 0.07 yeah so you're just 
slightly easing off your gain. Yeah. So there I am. And here he is. So I, I, even though I've missed the green there, I still feel like I've got the advantage. If I put myself there 10 times yeah. and 10 times back here, I still feel that I'm going to get up and down, let's say, eight out of the 10 down there compared to, let's say, probably four out of 10 down here. 100%. And the thing I'm now going to rely on as well, which I would like, is hoping that you don't understand you've got the advantage that much. Like, so lots of people you could see on Twitter not quite getting strokes gain. Yeah. I flip this. Yeah. Rather than you staying positive and thinking, I've got the advantage here, just give it time. You getting all panicky. I should have won that yeah, one. Yeah, I, I should have hit that, that green, yeah. And my arrogance now is winning. Because I'm stood here thinking, I'm going to flip this, I'm going to flip this, I'm going to flip this. Certainly when I was an amateur, I'd be thinking, I've got this. I'm good yeah. from this distance. I'm now going to gain. So I'm going to get in right in their head. So people always think, I used to get in people's heads as a golfer. I never was talking. I only talk because the camera's on. When I play competition, you wouldn't get a word out of me. I'd be polite if you asked me a question, but I ain't talking. Yeah. Um, I'd get in your head by flipping it because you're hitting it 20 past me all the time, and then I chip and putt, and, then, and people are constantly going, I should be winning this. I'm better than this. I'm hitting that green. He's all in putts. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So if you move away from your strokes gained, your emotions will get the better of you. Yeah. Don't want to be in that left of the pin, do I? That's good, it's coming in. It's good. It's it's good ways, it? It's good shot. It's good. Well done, that's good. Do you know what I mean? Now like, you're thinking now, aren't you? Well I have to I'm now thinking, you're thinking that has gone and done that. Yeah. And now I have to not be stupid. But that's where you gotta hold on to the logic. That's where someone like Mark Brody's so brilliant. He's a statistician, he's not yeah. a golfer, he probably yeah. plays good, but you see what I mean? It's the golfers that get it wrong. Because they use this in the thing called ego. Yeah. And that's why I'm having constant battles online because I'm also competing against that. I love it. I like the battles because I know the stats are true. But you know when you get into conversations it's where bad. it's about ego, you just think, yeah, like, unless they let that go, this isn't going to, just won't change. So you need to stiff this because you know my putting, so you probably think I'm in well, five. That's in, that's in, so I've got to get this up and down. Or hold. And you've got to slow that down. Pretty good. Not bad. Pretty good. Take that. So we'll have halves. They're pretty much the same distance. We probably, I wouldn't have halves because again, I would try and use my advantage that I feel I have with the putter uh, on that. But we'll have halves for the purpose of the video. So you can see if I've got a shot there, I've gone one up. If I haven't, yeah. you definitely had the advantage, but I stole it back. Don't not practice your chipping. Don't not practice your putting. Yeah. But really for me, I'm thinking, why have that power loss? Why have that power leak? Why not just get the most out of the speed you put in and then maximize everywhere else? Strokes gain for someone in at 200 yards off the tee or with a club that they think goes 200 yards off the tee. Maybe you've got loads more to give if you get your deflections down. So if I hit, 10 across will get those shots and Dan's hitting two from the inside and he's presenting three degrees less loft than me. That's why he's getting his 50 yards, not because he's swinging it faster. Because I agree, if you look at your average amateur and work on getting them to swing it faster, that's not happening, is it? You have to go to the gym. Yeah, and I don't want to do that along yeah, with the rest of them. I don't want to do that, no. But definitely how many lessons do you have where they max out their smash factor? It doesn't happen. There's leaks everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. So those gains are there. It's just if you choose to go and see them or not. 99% of people watching down the screen, strokes gained work for everyone. Close to the hole proximity will always help. But why are you not getting closer to the hole? Why are you not hitting it further? Probably because you're slicing it or hooking it and it falls out of the air. You could gain so easily with some good technique.